Hey everybody, we are in the Onyx Off-Road Andre's Pit Course, about to try taking a vehicle you'd never expect off-road. And in this video, you're gonna be shocked at the performance, I think, because this is a Citroen, or as we say in America, Citroen 2CV, and this is a small, affordable economy car sold in France from the 50s all the way up through the 1990s. And these cars don't look like much, but they have some of the most sophisticated suspension, and they were designed for some of the roughest terrain in the world. So Brendan, hey, we got an actual off-road course here, and we're gonna see how this little 2CV handles on some of the obstacles. Well, and for your sake, I think I should stay out here <laughs> and spectate because I want to give you the best chance possible with what little horsepower you got to get through the course. All right, let's go hit it. Now you're probably thinking at this point, this weird kid is just off his rocker. But what you gotta understand about the 2CV is this was introduced in the late 1940s in post-war France, and it was designed for rough, rutted, broken roads that so much of France, especially rural France, was facing. So it has some super sophisticated suspension. It's actually cross-linked front to back in these spring tubes, fully independent. And then we have over eight inches of ground clearance. And this was a car that was designed to mobilize post-war France. This is nothing fancy. And we're about to go down the trenches off-road course, which is a great test of articulation and ground clearance for any new crossover. I bottomed out new crossovers earlier today. Let's see how this little 2CV does. So the left side dips through the hole, inboard front brakes, by the way. And you can see the wheel clearance is absurd. Insane. Usually I go through here and I'm like way off kilter. I'm picking up corners of the vehicle. The whole thing is like, you know, teeter-tottering back and forth. But in the little 2CV, because there's so much wheel clearance, I'm not quite keeping all the wheels on the ground but I'm darn near doing it. As you can see, his vehicle's not even wide enough to take over the entire track of the course. So he's kind of cheating a little bit. That is incredible. And the other thing too is a lot of crossovers will actually scrape going through the trenches course because they don't have the clearance, but not the 2CV. Now I am completely off kilter here. We do have an open diff, but with a little bit of brake action and a little bit of perseverance, Check that out. Unreal. And we'll try going up it too. I feel like we have to, but that was incredible. I mean, when you consider modern day affordable cars, like, um, you know, like Corolla's and Elantra's, they're designed to be very efficient, safe, and um, affordable. This car was designed to have capability beyond what you'd ever expect. And we're gonna demonstrate that here now. So diving into trenches, look at that, we're already at like a, probably a 25 degree angle. That's pretty alarming, but the little guy is just powering through. Look at that, even with an open dip. No problems, lifting up wheels. The weight is really helping, so is the gearing. Oh no! Give me a push, Brendan! <laughs> I ran out of power! I only have 30 horsepower, are you ready? Well, now you're gonna have about 31! Oh. Beautiful! Brendan's recovery service. Hope I didn't show any crack. <laughs> Alright, so I ran out of power a little bit there at the end, but with a slight bit more momentum, I would have made it up that entire course in a front-wheel drive only economy car designed in the 1940s. How insane is that? Truly incredible. <laughs> and you can feel that intense wheel travel. The way that the wheels dive and lift out of the holes but keep the body level is incredible. The capability on this silly looking French car that looks like a snail is berserk. And now we're going over our logs course here. This is a course we typically reserve for high clearance um, crossovers. Oh. <laughs> And that's why I did run out of ground clearance there, but we're still we're gonna we're gonna tackle it. I feel like we have to. Taking it nice and gentle. This is technically a body-on-frame vehicle, which is pretty cool. This 
Citroen's even slow going downhill. So far so good. The key is just to keep a little bit of momentum, I think. I went too slow through that, but even still. Look at that. How was that? Bouncy. I see you had to go a little bit off the course there. Well, Were you I, nervous you were going to bottom out? I did bottom out at the top, but I ran out of clearance a little bit. Yeah. But if you tried to take a, like a modern day Nissan Versa through that, you'd have no front end on it. <laughs> That's true. You know, all the plastic on the lower That's side true. would be scraped off. Yeah. Not in a little TCV. The thing, that, the thing that's impressive is, you know, this is slow going uphill, but it seems even slower going downhill. Well, that's because or... the guy behind the wheel doesn't want to break a, a <laughs> rare little French car. Yeah. Well, let's try Hole Street here. We'll see if we've got the clearance to go up that, huh? Sounds good. The other thing which really helps this car is it's well under 2,000 pounds. It's probably 12, 13, 1,400 pounds, something in that territory. So when I do get stuck, Brendan can push me. I'll stay at the bottom in case you get stuck, Tommy. Stay at the bottom, my friend. Come on. Very low first gearing, which is good. But not quite that low. Come on, come on. Oh no! <laughs> we are at like a 25 degree angle. Are you ready? Come on, 2CV. Wow! Not bad at all. So Brendan, welcome to the little 2CV. Yeah. Well, you know, we, uh, we did a hill climb in this. And uh, I remember everybody loved how negative Case was about your 2CV, but I kind of dig it. It's pretty cool, right? Yeah. And, you know, this car was designed to drive. One of the desire requirements, of course, famously, was drive through an unplowed French field with a basket full of eggs without breaking any. And well, why haven't we done that? I have. You have done that. Oh, man, I just need to go watch those or archival footage. It didn't break any of the eggs, which is pretty cool. How many eggs did you bring with? Like 24. Wow, a full two dozen and you didn't break one, huh? But with this cross-link suspension, it does a great job of keeping the front end flat and I have a full explanation of it in another video. But basically when one end rises, the other one dips and you end up with this very level riding posture, which means you can take larger bumps and speed bumps at crazy speeds so and we're cruising down this dirt road, which in a modern car you probably want to take at 15. That's almost 30 miles an hour. Did you see how we're just floating? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it kind of bounced over that hill. Yeah, and of but... course, it does lean like crazy in the turns, right? Oh, you got the uh, little gophers there running. We got the gophers running for their lives here. <laughs> but even though it leans like crazy, it's very hard to roll a 2CV. They actually famously had a competition where if you could roll one, they would give you a new one for free. Well, and didn't you say this uh, This has 30 horsepower, right? Wasn't this the most powerful 2CV they ever made? Yeah, this is a horsepower? big block. 602 cc's. Well. They should have given it 31 horsepower because it seems like that's what you needed to get up the hills. <laughs> you needed one extra horse to put you, put you get, get you to the top. I mean, really what you would need for this is better tires and a heavier right foot. Someone who's a little braver and not willing to break it. This is a pretty nice car. I don't really want to go hammering it. But famously, a guy actually drove one of these across, um, I think it was the Saharan Desert. And when he broke down, he cut it in half and built a motorcycle and that's got out of the desert. Some true MacGyver stuff but right there. Look at that ride quality. That's you know, pretty nice actually. It just floats. I mean, these are fairly sizable holes and ruts that we're going through, even though they look pretty small on camera. But you can just go through just about anything, and as long as you have the clearance, look at this gopher hole. Yeah, yeah you just drove right over it's it. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. Yeah, these are such well-engineered vehicles, very impressive for their day, very impressive even today. Showcased a lot of cool engineering. Gotta fix the squeaky brakes, put some grippier tires on it. But we proved the 2CV can do some off-roading. Do they make do they make off-road tires for this? Well, these are basically... Can we get some KO2s on here? Bicycle tires, Brendan, <laughs> but maybe we could put like a mountain bike tire. There we go. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Well, guys, thank you for watching this kind of fun, silly little video Brendan and I did. Yeah. Thanks, Hank. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.